So, uh, community website. So, we have our community website, which is here, collaboraonline.github.io. Um, and all the code related to this website is, of course, in GitHub. So, I'm just going uh, to explain how it was done and how you can improve uh, the website, be that on the content front or even on the website structure front. So. Uh, we use Yugo. At the time, it seemed the, it seemed the fastest way to get something up. Uh, there was a, there is a lot of popularity around it, uh, so it seems uh, that there is less uh, teaching and less uh, explanation to do. It's uh, very flexible. It allows uh, customized components. It allows theming, uh, and it and really really important is that it requires zero learning effort. For someone that just wants to help out you know like fixing a typo or, or adding some text because you just need to know markdown so uh, open a pr and it's done after someone merges it so this is the website of hugo with all the various informations including a nicely uh, set quick start now uh, do you really need to install hugo to uh, to help? Short answer, no. As, as I have discussed, if you find a typo, if you find a missing uh, paragraph or a missing flag in some specific comment, <clears throat> or maybe we are missing one link in our uh, communication channels, you can just edit that uh, markdown file, open the PR and it's done. Long answer is if you want to do something a, a bit more complex and if you want to see it, if you want to see it, how, how it looks uh, before uh, opening the PR, then yes, you can open, you can, you should install Hugo so you can generate the, the content locally and you can even play with components with um, and even fixing other things like CSS, for instance, uh, and so on. So uh, the structure. Uh, so the structure and the git so the, the we have this is the, this is where it where the website is hosted uh, we actually track also the generated stuff <clears throat> uh, also uh, basically to give the opportunity to the people that do not have the yugo installed to be able to download it and see it locally so they even don't need to have the yugo installed if they just want to check it locally uh, of course, if they want to do, again, if they want to hack on the CSS part, etc., it's nice to have the Yugo installed because it's easier to debug and it's easier to go through the code. Uh, and also, so we are able to, to, to use in, in an easy way the GitHub, GitHub's page uh, feature. So master uh, branch is where the generated staff, uh, stuff is at and the source branch is where the actual source files are. Uh, we have a readme file that explains everything, but basically uh, here we use the git work tree, so we are able to have a mixed branch um, folder in our in our uh, computer uh, with the public folder, the, the folder that is created by Hugo when you run it locally, uh, becomes automatically the the master branch. So that's pretty nice because then you can basically work on the source uh, branch you when you run the yugo command it generates to the public so you know everything is nicely uh, divided and you don't need to go back and forth in branches um, in terms of structure um, so uh, we are using uh, a theme this a chunky poster theme uh, but I actually changed many things, including creating uh, uh, custom elements and even the, the whole theming colors, etc. was were changed. So for instance, an example would be uh, the, these drop downs, uh, these drop downs uh, for instance, to choose the, the operating system and other components like this were uh, created uh, as a customer shortcode, shortcodes. 
then we have um, then we have uh, partials that are just like footer head and header it's uh, like a, a chunks of code that live there that they will be reused in multiple pages and we have also this folder uh, underscore default um, where some of the layouts that uh, that are needed to generate uh, multiple pages um, are stored an example we have this card.html which is where uh, we uh, we have how, how we, we have set how a card looks like and we use that in the home page but then we also have uh, an additional one as well like regarding sidebar so we have a nicely context sidebar in each of these um, posts that go through the build instructions in this case uh, the build for iOS but we have the same thing for Android and uh, normal normal uh, code um, the CSS uh, lives under the static folder and uh, lastly but actually very very important is uh, our config file so we have our config configuration file uh, this uh, toml uh, files where we st we store things like what should be the description of the website subtitle of the website the taxonomies which is basically you can call it like it's like typology of contents like categories tags types uh what it should be the menu of the of the website so there is a lot of things that you can set and fix uh, within this um within this configuration file so it's it's nicely tied is nicely laid out for you like that and uh, and it's pretty much it. Then we have the default MD, so markdown file, uh, which is uh, which is the the model file that is used uh, when generating posts. So each 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 post, uh, for instance, is how to build the iOS. It's a post uh, will automatically get appended these properties like. A property a title property a date property and a draft and automatically is true and then it, so you are even able to have draft posts and then just later on changed uh, to false so it gets published um, and then uh, running out of time so how to contribute so first if you just want to fix a type or fix a small thing it's very easy you just need to clone uh, your forked uh, repository so first you need to go to the github fork the repository clone uh, to your computer check out the source br the branch uh, and fix whatever typo you want to fix for instance in this case in the build code uh, add those changes commit uh, don't forget to sign off it's kind of nice to have emails of everyone so we know uh, you know each each person so we we, we can pinpoint and even uh, you know request changes and push and then uh, just compare and press the pull re open re pull, pull request uh, button so that's pretty easy actually you see no no installation of google no nothing just changing a markdown file and bang uh, you are contributing for to, to the website uh, now, if you want to contribute and fix more stuff, like more stuff, not just on, not 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 just content, and even sometimes some metadata or even that specific author or some. Uh, hold on. Sorry. I think Paul accidentally unmuted. Carry on. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so so uh, so Sorry. then it's very easy. You just go to this. Uh, you just go and read the README file. I really try to spend some time in that readme file so everything is clear you install Hugo, Hugo. I also have it there very so if you don't want to read everything you can just see how to install Hugo there in many different forms um, and you do exactly the same thing and here you use our little friend work tree so you have the the public your public subfolder set to master and uh, you do exactly the same so change do your changes uh you before you open the pull request now that you have you installed why not generate and see how it looks so you just can write on your computer just to yugo space server in the main root of of of, 
of that repository and bang it will generate it will create this virtual server inside of your of your computer and you can see and it will show you the link in the in the terminal and you can see how it looks and if everything looks good uh, you can just send the pr and uh, we are good to go <laughs> so i think that's it. thanks better cool